Welcome to Wood Stove Sessions. This is the lesson series. This is actually episode number one. Um, for the first episode, we're going to cover the extended G-Run. G-Run is something that you traditionally hear in bluegrass country music, but it's in other types of music also. The, the usual G-Run you hear is something like this. <laughs> You hear it in a lot of context in the verse, in the phrase, in the chorus, um, a transition in music, um, something sort of like. In areas like that. There's some alternate versions of the G run that um, I particularly like. Instead of using the E note in the G run, I would use the uh, F note instead, and you hear that like in Bill Monroe, Del McCurry, Jimmy Martin, other people like that have used it, and it sounds something like this. One note difference, but a whole lot of sound different. Um, you don't have to play the entire G run all the time, and the same thing with the extended run we're going to look at today. You use whatever pieces out of it that you need. For example, some people just slide into it. Some people just play the last couple notes. It's whatever works out for the song that you're in. Today's extended G run is going to take the traditional one we just looked at, move it down across octaves, and then we're going to work our way back to the original G note where we started. It's going to be something like this. And you'll see the tab show up for it to, to help you understand it. play that in pieces so that we can actually uh, see what we got there and, and put it into a little bit of phrasing. Here's the traditional G run. Here's the one that's next on the tab that's an octave above it. And we're going to start working our way backwards. Right back to the original G note. So let's play it together slow. And one more time, just for the tablature. And that is the extended D run. You feel free to pick out whatever piece is best or fits your type of music or whatever song you got. And thank you for watching the very first episode.